Hello, you all. Look at this beauty. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, isn't this lovely? Good afternoon. This is Marcy Weeks from the Marcy Weeks Show. And it's all about gardening. All about gardening. And today, normally, you know, I go live from my garden. But, and I always talk about this person that helps me with my gardening. And I mentioned her name this morning, Kathy. Right? So she's my name, say, Kathy Weeks. And so I am actually in her garden, right? In her garden. And I'm just giving you a little, just a general tour. You see the beauty of this place, right? You see the beauty of this place. I'm just giving you a general tour and then we're going to chat with her and she's going to tell us more about what it is that we're seeing. So I'm going to ask you to share. Please share. It's in the middle of the day. And but you know, I got this opportunity to come to this garden today, even though I normally do my gardening stuff in the morning. I thought, you know what, I get this opportunity, I'm gonna take this opportunity. Isn't this gorgeous? Did you see these immaculately kept beds? You, 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 you seeing this thing though? You, you really seeing this thing? How immaculate this thing is, huh? Every time I come here, I am inspired. I'm inspired every time I come because mine is not like this at all. This is like what you see in a book. And I mean, it is just immaculately kept. Immaculately kept. I am telling you, isn't this gorgeous? Just look at this. Just look at it. Just look, look at those luscious lettuce and she sells all of these things are sold. And the important thing to know is that this is an organic garden, right? Nothing artificial in here. You hear I tell you? So we're gonna chat with her. We're gonna chat with her, but I just wanted to take you through a little bit just for you to see how immaculately kept it is. Right? I hope I'm doing justice to it. I want you to see how immaculately kept it is. All right? Look out at that. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You seen those beds? You see in those beds? Isn't that immaculate? Isn't that immaculate? Oh my gosh. I, I mean, I'm just amazed at how they're made up. Oh, she has them. And what's happening with them, the, the neatness of them. Everything is almost like they're evenly spaced out. Listen, anybody else have a garden pretty like this? Okay, I can need to do a competition, you know, for the prettiest garden. <laughs> All right, yes, 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 yes. So you can see her there in the distance. Hey, you like it, Tim Ward? Yes, I thought it's very nice. It's very, very nice. And we have the gardener right here. This is not my garden, please. It is not mine, but this is the lady here who inspires me all the time. And she is Kathy Weeks. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. <laughs> and you are, you are, there. listen, we are here. Tim Ward. Tim, where are you watching from? Let me know. Tim is here, um, you know, just admiring your garden. And he says, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Rewarding work. Rewarding work. What are you doing there right now? I'm pruning some beets. Cutting out the dead and dying leaves. But mm -hmm. well, they won't be dead because it's dying or, or anything that might have an infection or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't spread or anything like that. Just maintaining the good health yes. of the plant. So right now, okay, so you're any any um any leaves that look like they're eaten? 
again eaten or yellowing uh -huh. or anything so there's no so um, show us one show us the one that you're cutting um, off like this one here this is drain mm -hmm. some water and eating a bit so the plant can do without this and focus on what's underneath I see because okay so you're inside. taking off the leaves that look a little you know yeah. yellowing or they're and the plant eaten. is taking time to feed and, that right and you 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 don't um how do you handle like insects and so on in the garden oh, well I'm still learning about the insects but right now I use neem mm -hmm. and I I get my own process my own neem I get the leaves from the tree and I boil it and I spray it with on the plants. Mm -hmm. I also could use baking soda for some. I yeah. could take it for the mold on the vines. Yeah. And those are the two. Uh, uh, I have once used pepper. Mm -hmm. um, because some, some tiny insects that, that are on this particular plant, the mustard plant. Right, the mustard. Right. And, and I, I take care of those insects with that. Right. Um, but I'm still learning other natural ways in which you could deal with the plant. Because at the same time you are spraying, you don't want to hurt the plant that you want to eat from. Right. So anything. So you you're natural. organic. You're an organic oh, garden, yes. and yes. and and you and it's a it's hard. It's more work. Doing oh it. yes, it's more work. Cause I could easily go in town, buy a spray, a can of spray, whatever. Come and spray, are looking all pretty and things. Yes. Like may not be the healthiest. May either. not be the healthiest. And I yeah. let me tell you, I just had a bowl of um your your uh, your um salad, salad mix, mix. Yes. um yes uh, tim ward is here watching from guelp ontario canada <laughs> and um this is kathy weeks from barbados and i just love to come to see her garden um and it inspires me and i buy her her um salad mix bags that last me about a week yeah. a week and then i i want to you know I, I try to buy every week i had cut, cut off you know christmas and so on and so forth but i'm back at it he's saying his mom used to use stinky missy um in, in the garden this is the, the, uh, the, uh, the plant the plant itself mm -hmm. stinky missy mm -hmm. Um, to get rid of um, some of the insects and, and yeah, so on. Because in, uh, in last year in particular, around the end of June, mm -hmm. into July, well, I've never so extensively planted plants before. Mm -hmm. So at the end of June, into July, we got a butterfly infestation. And the butterfly kind of say bye bye and took away pretty much everything. Everything. So I had to start replanting and stuff like that mm -hmm. and preparing now for right now you don't see many of them because I guess the season for them is gone yeah um, but I have to prepare for them for the next season mm -hmm. and, and so like the butterfly took over these this lettuce not here the lettuce everything else but the lettuce really oh, okay the lettuce and the, and the beets are carrots, like the leafy vegetables the uh -huh. red mustard or the green mustard the arugula the Swiss chard the yeah Okay, Hello. and you have yeah, all of these in in here now, arugula and all that. Yes. Wow. So a lot of the stuff are now baby plants. Yes. Um, because yeah, the holidays went so I harvested quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I have I have started to replant um, some for myself and then some for sale. Right. What are these? These are some small ones here. These are actually carrots that I transplanted. Oh, it's yesterday. carrots. Yes. I th actually thought I thought it was um um parsley. Yeah, yeah, okay, so these are carrots. So the carrots grow well here? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I did. This is the patch here, the original patch. Uh huh. So I um, took out some from here because it was too thick. Yeah. And I transplanted them in this bed. I have to. So they were where? They were over there? Yes, yeah, right here. Okay. And you, you transplanted those today yes. and, and planted them here? Yesterday evening. Yesterday? Oh, so yesterday that's evening. The still, but give them a, two, a few days and they will, and they will come up. up. Yeah. And so you've gotten big carrots from, from here before? Yes. Um, but it's better, if you, in my opinion, if you plant your carrots mm -hmm. as opposed to buying them from the seedling place mm -hmm. where they clump together and um, they don't farm out very well. Okay. Right, so if you plant your own mm -hmm. and how I transplanted these ones. I got a stick. Let's see, let's see. Something like this. A little longer. Mm -hmm. And then so I made the hole right down inside so that these, the actual carrot, baby carrot, can go right down inside. Oh. Without getting, you know, distorted down in there. Okay. And then I close it back. 
Because oh, when wow. I pull, they pull nicely. And these are supposed to be the bigger ones. Right, right. Um, so, yeah. But Kathy, I'm here looking at the beds and they are immaculately kept. Um, you know, uh, what inspired you to start and why? Because this looked to me like a, like a piece of um, artwork. <laughs> Maybe, you know? our, maybe our influence are impacting it still because you know I'm an artsy person. Yes, because you're you're into craft. Yes. Yeah. And um, the colors, um, mm -hmm. coordinating the colors, I like colors. Yes. It doesn't have to be flowers, but it leaves that give color. Yes. Also give beauty. Yes. And um, they say that the weeds and the plants don't like to be in close proximity of each other, so you have to take out the weeds. Uh huh. So you take out the weeds and. Yeah, you maintain, and once you maintain your plants by pruning, taking out the weeds, you should have for a good crop. A good crop. Yeah. Somebody's asking, which parish is this? St. Philip. Okay, you're in St. <laughs> Philip, and yes. St. Philip's supposed to be pretty dry. Yes. But um, but you are really, um, you know... You plant to soup. You plant to there soup. Because there are some times in the year where the soil is drier than others. Mm -hmm. Um, cause we had rain, some unseasonal rain. Yeah. Um, we still so the soil is still moist, so my watering is much more limited. Right. So I have to water as heavy, but when it is in the summer, you have to water with a lot more water. Right, to right. The plant. And so you have, apart from the, this, tell us, show me what you put in your salad mix. So of course, you have right? The regular lettuce. You have the, these are the red mustard and green mustard. Let me see. So this is the red mustard. This is the red mustard. I didn't. I did. I get any of that yesterday. Yes, you did. Yes, this, this is what. This, let me tell you. This is a healthy one. This I is tell the you. Green mustard and these. Oh, this are, is mustard. I thought it was the green um, lettuce. No, this is the green mustard and this is the red one. So this is the red red mustard. You're seeing it, guys. And, and then this is the green mustard. But these two guys, please plants. share up the live. Uh, somebody watching from Guyana. Hey, Leroy. Oh, I'm just loving this garden. Are you? This is a green mustard. I, I have to say, these these two plants. Uh huh. When you eat them, but just you eat them just so. Yeah. You're going to feel like a fire dragon. It is true. You will feel like you're breathing fire. It, it is it, true. It, it is only for a few seconds. But <laughs> just I warn people when they're going to, you know, yeah. partake of these two in particular, what to expect. Uh, there was a young man here, and I, I you know, kind of gave him. Uh -huh. I gave him one a piece of a leaf to eat. Oh, Lars, he was all in all sorts of positions. Yes, <laughs> but it was hilarious. But it, when you add it to the salad, it makes a lovely mix. Though. Yes, it does. Lovely um, mix. it gives you that. I, I remember the first time I listen, let me turn this camera and tell you the truth. The first time that I tasted this, um, this plant here, the green mustard. I tell you, man, the thing went up in my nose. Lord, I felt like it was going to pass out. But <laughs> it cleans out all of the, the sinus issues and all of that just went, you know. So she's really saying, she, what she's saying is true. And I buy the salad mix from her. And it's, um, you know, and it's all organic. Oh, somebody, Flora Thomas from Guyana. Hi, Flora and Lira from Guyana. Tim Ward, guys, share up the live. I think this is beautiful that we are. So you have, so you, you have the, you have the, the mustard. So you have the, this kind of mustard, red mustard. Yes. And, and you have green the green mustard. mustard. And this is green mustard too. I'm learning because yes, yes. I can see the difference. Yes. Right, which is very different from the the lettuce. Yes, and the mustard. The butterfly love love those plants. Yes, the, the mustard. Yeah. Oh, they love, even though even they love the mustard, even though it is so. They can um, eat on a plant in a day. But I thought that the because the mustard is hot, like they, to hot us, but to them they it love it. It's delicious for them. Mm -hmm. And but you know what they say? Once the 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 insects are eating the plants, those are the plants we need to be eating. That they that's good. It means yes. that it's good. Yes. It's healthy. So you also put this inside. Yes, the beet leaf. And oh, the beets are healthy. So you're telling me leaf. that the beets, you grow the beets, mm -hmm. but you also the you use the leaves. So I have beet leaf in mine. Yes. So I had some beet leaves last night. So it's a mix, guys. You get a couple um, different things in. So you have the mustard leaves, mm -hmm. green yeah. mustard, red, red mustard, mustard um, beets. beets. Yes. The Swiss chard. I don't have any. Wait, now. wait. We need Swiss chard. I don't have any now because those got taken out with the butterflies. Mm. But they're family to the beets. 
So yes. they look like, so whatever attacks the beach would attack them. Yes. But they're similar to the beach. They add color to your salad. Yes. So you have this nice wine looking color mm -hmm. and some, some heavy green yeah. in your salad. So you have lots of toning going on in your salad. In you the salad. Yes, it does. <laughs> it really, really does. It really does. So, um, and of course, there's the lettuce. What else yes. do you put in the Let's salad? Go in this direction. Yes, guys. So, guys, um, please um, share up the live. Um, it's so important that we do this. This is a. Um, it is in our backyard. It's not. A, it's not a large scale anything, um, but it's beautiful and it's a lot of effort. You can see as we are going through, and we're hoping that this will inspire you to want to do. You know, um, to work in your own garden. And so, tell me about this one. What's this? Is this is the red. The red. The purple basil, sorry. Okay. I add this to the salad mixes as well. It's, it gives it a, a nice flavor. Yeah. Very nice flavor. And I also use the seeds in my salad. Nothing is wasted. Yes, I put the seeds in mine yes. yesterday as well. So this is the purple basil. Yes. You see it, guys? Isn't this gorgeous? And this is what, what yes, beautiful, beautiful, all healthy. Yeah, what else goes in the salad? One second, I'm coming a little closer to you. This the arugula. Has a, this has its own nice flavor. Yes. So and the arugula. No catching back because they got, you know, cut quite a bit. Right. So now I notice you have a fishing net over the arugula. Right. Why is change, that? I have to change the net to something smaller because the butterflies also love the arugula. Okay. They, by evening time, butterflies would have laid eggs on this and then they develop and they eat the entire plant. Wow, so in the morning when you come, uh, how do you um, get the eggs off? Right, I go through the plant and look for the eggs and I can manually take them off. Yes. Right, along with the fact that I have them covered with a net. Mm -hmm. Right, so I have to change this net to something smaller. Right. But the little butterflies are still getting in there, even though I have it double up. Right. So, and I check every, do my best to check every plant before I put them into the the bags for sale. Right, so that, right. That, you know, nobody gets yes, them. I know because you wash them well and mine generally when I when I get them, un unlike yesterday, I came upon you suddenly. <laughs> yes. So then I, I know I have to wash them but you do a great job. Okay. Um, and so what are these? This is really this weird. This here though. is bitter lettuce. Bitter lettuce? See, this, one, no, this one here I found because I was trying hard to harvest the seeds and they wouldn't grow. Mm -hmm. So I put some over there mm -hmm. and I'm seeing all of a sudden some little seedlings coming up. So I'm guarding them with much care. Right. right so why there. you put bitter lettuce in and and why you do that in, in, your, in your salad mix? Bitter lettuce apart from the fact that it's very healthy for you. The bitterness also adds the flavor. You have what you might call hot bitter and mild mm -hmm. and some other flavors because the green mustard and the and the red mustard give you the hot yes and then you have the bitter lettuce yes. and it's not overly bitter that you can't manage it. right you can manage it the amount that you put um in a bag is enough that when you put all together you don't it doesn't stand out yeah right but it's good a good blend and and <laughs> this lady that she buys for me right when i saw this lady after a while i was like what have you been eating she looks so good. I mean, toned, not toned yes. as a muscular tone, but toned as in an appearance. Yes. Right? And Her skin you know, and salad, everything. Yes, the salad that she's using and stuff like that. And that has often been the case with first Yes, me too. Me too. Right? It really, yes, really I lost works. a whole lot of weight and I felt good in my body. Yes. And I'm starting it back because I ate pure junk for Christmas. <laughs> so, um, you know, yes, yes, I yes. I don't put this in this is just my personal because the cucumbers that you have mm -hmm. coming back. So when I'm doing my actual salad, dressing it up, mm -hmm. I will add my cucumber. Mm -hmm. Somebody here is saying from um the um, Tim Ward is saying you can have mustard leaves in white rice. Yes, most of them. When I gave them to my sister, she's put everything in the <laughs> rice to stick up stir fry. Oh wow. Well. Okay, go, go to go. I like my raw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes I will add a cabbage leaf. This uh -huh. is the, the remaining cabbage. I have some baby ones growing. Uh -huh. This is cabbage. This is the kale, straight uh -huh. the straight leaf kale. Though this is the only one I prefer. Uh -huh. The others are too chewy or fibrous. Right. So 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 you don't not the hard ones. No. So this, this is, is a straight leaf kale. Straight leaf kale yes. Um, you put in the salad mix yes. as well. 
Right, so that's that's it. And over here we have the Ooh, these are pretty. Y'all seen these? Red romaine lettuce. Oh, this one here. This is the red romaine lettuce. The red romaine lettuce. Yeah. Guys, you are sharing this up. We want to inspire people to get their own backyard garden. I mean, the green one doesn't do well in the sun. But these red ones here, mm -hmm. they do well. And oh, there's the other lettuce over there that we missed. Right, okay. Now, I'm noticing here, based on what you just said, that you have some something eating these. Right, actually, these kind of grow with this spotty looking look. Mm -hmm. like the texture mm -hmm. so I don't know their plants so I just use them as is as and, is right yeah. and you know the good thing is that you eat like from this, this gar see, garden it's green yeah it's spot the green so it will be on the plants mm -hmm. so you eat from the garden and then what you don't eat you sell yes <laughs> right go 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 Ambrose is watching from St. Vincent guys please share it up share it up and let's spread the love man this is barbados and this is kathy weeks this is her garden and um and it's in st philip you know i normally go live uh, from my garden but every time i come here i'm so inspired and i told her i want to go live from your garden and i'm so happy i can do that today yes this is the spinach i also add this the salad mix so you you're right i notice when i get my salad mix i have spinach well, inside have the green there and the red yes spinach. you normally give me green and red so this is the spinach and you see how healthy this soil is this woman does all organic it's all organic look at those beds i know you're looking at the spinach here but just cast your eyes over there and this is what when i come i am like so inspired by this i'm like my goodness my little garden look like nothing when I think of this and the work that Kathy puts in this garden, isn't this lovely? Do you like it? I love it. I love it. I love it. This is like so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, and I behave the same way each time I come because I'm genuinely blown away and it just does something to my soul. Go, go, Ambrose. Great to see that you're watching from St. Vincent. It's beautiful. So let, let's look at these, um, the red lettuce. Ah, oh, I love these. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. Anybody growing these? They have some Anybody? baby ones coming out, but these are wow. the, the remainder of the... Magnificent. The look, look how beautiful that is. Flora, you like these? This is beautiful. And I, listen, I get all of this in my lettuce, you know, in my salad mix here in Barbados. But... You know, if you're not living in Barbados, you can grow this so yes, that you can, you can have this um, in your garden all all the time. This and is the baby cabbage. This is the baby, baby cabbage. Baby? Yes, baby beets and baby cabbage. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, go, go, Ambris. You're liking it. Go, go, Ambris. Yes, man. Listen, if you don't have any, any a garden, I am going to encourage you to get out there. Get a container. If you don't have the land space, you can get all types of containers. You yes, you, you're telling them that if they don't have the land space. Right, if you don't have the land space, you can use a container. Mm-hmm. Right? Just get a good pot and mix and plant your, your and you could actually create a garden using those um, plant pots. Mm-hmm and plant your whole food yeah because i'm gonna let you take me to the front and just mm -hmm. show you how you plant in pots as well mm -hmm. you have a few things in pots yeah a few things more uh, um ornamentals then <laughs> more ornamentals okay mm -hmm. all right no problem so tell us anything else about this garden because i'm seeing you have tomatoes yes yes i have tomatoes i am um, as you're passing uh-huh let's well, let's look at um it, it this is one any, here <laughs> known as window. yet but you have you have it all oh, um, staked it's well staked yes so tomatoes are here as and well okras. and we have our okras and so i kind of like put a lot of plants together that can manage each other yeah so one doesn't kill the other while they utilize the space so the space is not wasted wasted so you're okay so i see that you're very big on on space yes. the usage of space in this beautiful beautiful mm -hmm. well manicured garden I made a sweet pepper <laughs> sweet pepper plant i have to get some new ones yes but this is the largest of the right ones. they're coming up the yeah. sweet pepper is coming up mm -hmm. this is listen right so i know that you have some scotch bonnet as well yes okay wow so that's so your pepper type. there 
harvested uh -huh. all already and this is another type. Well, you and I had a discussion yesterday, <laughs> yeah. so let the people decide. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Go, go, Ambrose, Tim Ward, everybody. I want you to tell us, what do you think? Which one is the Scotch Bonnet Pepper? Uh, you are sharing up the live? Which one is the Scotch one Bonnet Pepper? Because her and I had a disagreement yesterday. This is the smooth skin one. The, so this pepper, is this the Scotch Bonnet? Look at it carefully. Do you think that this is the Scotch Bonnet? Because you're, you're telling me that this is the Scotch Bonnet, right? Yes. So Kathy is telling me this is a scotch bonnet this and I yellow. told her Orange. that I think the scotch bonnet is a more um, rugged, the, skin, the rugged one. skin one. What do you all think? Is this a scotch bonnet? What do you all think? You let me know. You <laughs> let me know. <laughs> and I have a yam here growing up. Oh, stop. <laughs> Yes, okay, so there's a yam here. What kind of yam is this? Is this a Bajan yam? I, I, I wouldn't venture to see <laughs> what type of yam. Uh oh, I don't know if you noticed something growing. Um, Look at that, look, look at that. Look at that little bastard underneath here. A snail? You see oh, the right. snail? Let me show the people first before you take it off. Look at him right underneath the yam leaf there. Mm -hmm. You see him? Kill him. He can get his portion. <laughs> Yes, yes, let us look at her, crush him, crush him, crush him, man. <laughs> Listen, Ooh. a few tomatoes, so she has tomatoes as well, but notice, and nothing is wasted, so this is a little bag that when you go and you buy your, your, um, the, onion, the onions and the garlic, and so she uses it to cover um, the, the, the fruit so that the birds don't um, eat the fruit. All right, anybody else does that? So she has it covered there as well. Looking nice and healthy. Hey man, look at these um, carrots. Carrots here, I love this. I love this. Beautiful. And over here we have some more, there, we tomatoes. have some more tomatoes. This uh, is for my next salad. <laughs> for my next salad, yes, coming up, coming up. And she uses these little bags to cover. Yeah? Over here you have some cassava. Cassava! So in the midst of all of this, and Kathy, you sell the cassava um, as well, right? Yeah, you sell the cassava, and I know you had some cassava to eat yesterday. <laughs> And she refused to tell me how they taste. Let me tell you. And the reason why I refuse to tell her how the cassava tastes is because it is somebody gave me these cassava sticks to plant. They're they're me, really not native to Barbados. They're not. Where are they from? He told me from Africa. He said, I did I have to ask him next time what specific country. In Africa. Says, in yeah. Yeah, probably somewhere in West Africa. Yes, yeah, so the flavor not the flavor. So it's a flavor. The flavor is Different, mm -hmm. different, more intense. Oh, really? And the texture is slightly different. I don't want to tell her what <laughs> she has to have her own experience, so then we will yes. come to your So that's why I'm being so, you know, vague. Um, but but they're nice. They're yes. Not our local ones, but they're nice. They're nice. Yeah. Okay. So this is this cassava. All of these are these, from Africa. Yeah, these four. These four over here yeah. from Africa. Yes. Um, these cassava sticks, and I get some. I'm going to be planting some. I'm going to show you in my garden probably tomorrow or, or um, the day after me planting these cassava sticks that mm -hmm. I got from Kathy. Right? And listen, this is something I always wanted to do and I'm happy. Anybody love cassava? Um, someone is saying there's everything in the garden. I saw lemongrass early in the video. Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're going to show you the lemongrass. Yes, you wait, Tim. You know the deal. Tim, Tim, you have a garden as well? You seem to know a lot. This is Tim from um, Canada. And here we have our... Ask them if they could guess what this is. Okay, what is this? Who can tell me what this is? Who knows what this is? We're not going to tell you. We're not going to tell you. But they're delicious. I they're love very them. delicious. And I got some yesterday. <laughs> How do you cook them, Kathy? Um, you can do them in your rice. Uh -huh. Or you can do them in your soup. Yes. I guess you could cook it by itself. However you cook it. It's good. The flavor, you like the flavor. Yes. Is it, it a kind it does it take long to cook? 
Mm, no, not long, but it's like it's, I think it will take a little longer than the regular spaghetti, mm -hmm. but not too long. But they're different, and I think that they are more filling. Mm -hmm. ah. if, you them, if you eat them in your meal, they, they fill you up. Fill you up a lot better. Yeah, what's up going on there? I see some, I see like a cassava sticking up. Yes, actually, actually, look, guys, look, guys, there's a cassava sticking out the ground there. You see it? Wait, this is a big one, cat. Whoa! Oh my goodness, you better dig it while we're here. <laughs> You're not digging it now, no. later. You, guys, you see that cassava in the ground? Can you all see it? The sun is in the way, but I want you to see it. Ah, man. Isn't this cool? So this is a cassava that she's grown, and she's had this in for about six, seven months, right, Kathy? Yeah, this is the seventh month. Okay, so this is in the seventh month, month and look how the cassava pushed through the ground. Whoa, it's nice. Yeah, but the, and nobody guessed what kind of beans we were showing you earlier. You're not getting away, you know. You're watching, but you're not getting away. This is a learning experience. What is this? What is this? Who knows? Okay, Tim Ward says he used to grow this stuff in St. John. I guess he's a Bajan living overseas. Well, what is the yeah, so, so listen, Tim, what is this? You were in Barbados. You should need to know what this is. <laughs> Benevist. Bonavist. Bonavist. Yes, you're correct. Bonavist peas. I don't know what you call it. What do you call this in Guyana? Those of you watching from Guyana, what would you call this? Bonavis Bean, Michelle Brewster. Hey, Michelle. Michelle, share up my live because I'm not normally. You see, I'm visiting somebody else's garden, Michelle. And, oh, wow. So the, the award goes to Tim Ward. Tim Ward knew it was Bonavis Beans. Yes, very good. Very good. Now, who can guess this plant? Who can guess this plant? What is this? It's actually a vine. And it is coming from, look at the vine. Look at it. Take a good look. So you can't say you didn't see it. And see it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so this is it here. Up close. Anybody can tell me what, what it is? Look at it, guys. Ah. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Anybody knows what plant this is? It's a vine. That's that much I will tell you. Huh? Please go ahead and like, like the, like the live, like the live, so it goes up in the algorithm. Just click that like button. Like the live. What is it? Ah, yeah, no, Tim, no, Tim. It's not passion fruit, right? <laughs> The, that one is not passion fruit. Is it? Is he right or wrong? He's wrong. I'm Ra sorry. He's wrong. All right. So we gonna wait passion for. Passion fruit has a, a, a oval type shape. Mm -hmm. This has like a star, like formation. Let me there. let me let him look at it again because let's so look at it again. Let me turn this way from the sun. You hold it. It looks like um the Canadian um. Iconic maple leaf. Yes, it, but it's not that. It's not that. So what is it? One more try, and if you don't get it, then I'm going to tell you. Anybody wants to try? So Kathy, before we go on to the next thing, you know, um, what really inspired you to come out here to start? Because you, you're 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 live uh, you just a story, right the there, the, the opposite side of those um, banana trees. There's where she lives. She gets out of her house and she comes here. So wh why did you start? I would think it's in the blood. <laughs> in the blood. Okay, but tell me. More so, more so um, the need for food because during COVID, um, food became scarce mm -hmm. somewhat, and and even since then it has become more expensive. And also, you're not sure about the food that you're eating, mm. what is being sprayed with, or even. How, how it's been producing. So that's why you go organic when you're, yes. yes. Uh -huh. So those are some of the factors that impacted my decision to, to come here. No matter what, 
I have to, it's like food security. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know that you can eat no matter what happens and you mm -hmm. can also help someone else to eat as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Tim wants to visit your garden <laughs> when he comes home in February. Um, Tim, I'm telling you, please reach out to us and um and and you you it will be nice so you say come out if you come we'll do another we'll do a show in here team i promise you all right so can you tell them nobody's guessing what it is nobody knows guys are you liking are you liking it are you sharing and liking i needed to share and like okay so can you tell them what this is um miss yes, kathy it isn't, and it's fully bloom because it had already born one bunch because this is only about the first, this is the first time it's bearing. It's been a couple of years now and growing. Um, I planted it out in the ground about last year early. Mm -hmm. um, thought it was in a pot before. Mm -hmm. It is actually great, a great vine. It's a great vine, the like red grape. the red grapes. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Is it seedless or the? It, no, seedless is manipulation. <laughs> right. So this is a real this deal. Is a seed, yeah. seeded, seeded, seeded grapes. Seeded grapes. So what you saw was um, seeded grapes, right? So it's not passion fruit, it's seeded <laughs> grapes. Now, um, this one here, uh, you gave me some. I'm going to cook some of this, I think, for the first time. I don't know if I cooked this before. Okay. Um, what is this again? Um, it has two names that I am aware of. They call it the yard long bean because of how long it, it grows. Uh huh. Or you call it borer beans. Bora, right. I've heard of borer beans. Right. And the birds, as you can see here, love it, uh -huh. particularly the dove. So because it's so close to the fence, yes. they get on the fence and they pick the, they don't eat the beans, they just pick out the seeds. Yes. And they, what are you oh, doing? Oh, you borrow beans. And how do you eat this? You you cook this a lot, I think. Yeah, you put it in your, you can do this anyhow. You stir fry it with other vegetables. You can cook it with your rice. You can put it in your soup. You can cook it by itself. Mm -hmm. It's a nice bean. Yeah, it's nice. It's yeah. Nice Someone bean. saying here, T Tim is saying, wow, growing grapes in BIM, she, he gives you a I'm 10 not, out of 10. <laughs> I'm not the only one, uh, am I not? Really? Not there are other people growing grapes? There's this guy I know that lives in late folly and thing. He actually had clusters of grapes wow. on his wing. I could tell yeah. he had it for a long time because it was a really large bunch. Really large bunch. Yeah. Wow. I would love to see that. So this is I'm giving it here some more room to spread itself out mm -hmm. because it likes to run, but it produces nevertheless. So all of all of along here, guys, is Ebora beans, right? And let me just, just want to make sure you see how how long this stretch is for this Bora beans, okay? And Kathy cooks these, and that's what I'm saying, guys. You know, she will not go hungry. And then look, look what she have here, even in the midst of this Tim. Tim, this is gonna make your mouth water. What is this, Tim? Tim, the sugar cane. The sugar cane, Tim. This one, listen, Kathy, you, I can't get a cane before I leave. Yes, I'm sure you can. Listen, I want some some come some sugar cane to stop before I leave. You believe this? This woman has this woman and she is doing this by herself. She don't have no man in here helping her. She doing this by herself, right, Kathy? Yep. Look at that. She's got her cane, a uh, uh, cane. She has a little bed here with cane in it, right? And then, oh, I have to turn around for you to see me in the midst of this one because I love it. So, so this is me in the midst of. Oh, what is this? Hmm. What is this? This one is fever grass, right? Right, we call it fever grass in Jamaica, lemongrass. Let me tell you something, guys. You need to be here to smell this. It is beautiful. So this is me. I love it. And Kathy gave me some. And um, yes, Kathy gave me some. She has a, definitely has a green thumb. And I don't know if it can be caught. A green, if it can, if it can be caught. But I'm trying to catch it. <laughs> right. Now, Kathy, yeah, tell me. Right, yeah, you have your herbs. Right, so that's the next thing I wanted to get because you have a lot of herbs in this garden. Mm, and these are not the regular, necessarily the regular herbs, even though some of the regular herbs are mixed. Uh -huh. but I have the unusual as well. What they call unusual? Yeah. Um, we have the rosemary. Yes. Two, two trees. This is smaller of the two. Uh huh. This is um, wild garlic. 
Oh wow! So you know, yeah. let me, you know, oh, oh Lordy, listen, listen, I in the people garden is sniffing. <laughs> I won't get high from from rosemary. Ooh, I love this smell. Listen, what do you put rosemary on? Somebody asking if you have bay leaf. Yeah, I have a small bay leaf plant, but but until it grows into a big tree, which yeah. in the I get from my neighbor. <laughs> from your neighbor, okay. Ooh, ooh, Tim. Mm, organic stuff. This is not from the supermarket. Organic lamb. Yes, lamb. This is fantastic on lamb. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yes. All, your meats really. all the meats and, and fish too. Mm -hmm. And now this one here is the is the um what? The wild garlic. It's okay. Not garlic is wild garlic, so you don't use the, the bottom; you just lose the top. So this is wild garlic. Anybody knows about wild garlic? Let me smell it. That's what I call it. That's what I know. Mm -hmm. it I don't know. Yes, it yes, it smells like garlic. So this is wild garlic, guys. You seeing it? It, it almost looks like chives, but it is Almost flat. looks like chives, but you notice notice that it's flat. Okay? It's flat. And it smells like garlic. While this beside it is chives. Isn't it? Yeah. And this one is round. So you you see the difference? in Look at the shape. Look at the shape. So this is hollow. Round and hollow. While this is flat. See? I just learned that from Kathy, you know, and I acting like I know it long time. <laughs> Yeah, guys, you're sharing it up. Share it up, share it up, share it up, share it and up. In the midst of the herbs, um, we have the pineapple. Ah! Oh. I recently lost two pineapple. I think so much moisture. Pineapple. Tim, exactly. this lady growing pineapple, you know. Yeah, but you ever had pineapple to eat from it? Oh, yes. I had one that I've grown so far. It wasn't large, but it was juicy. Wow! And delicious. In Barbados? Yes. I, I savor every moment. So you're growing pineapple in Barbados? Yes. And I'm not the only one. And you're no, not the only one. There are other people growing pineapple too? Yes. yes. Wow, wow, wow. And do they, I wonder if they go to market with it or just a home use? If they do, it might be um, a unique type of market, like specific persons or uh, restaurants or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it isn't done on a large scale. I see. Yeah, I see. Least, no, there's a guy I saw um, on the news recently. He's planning on preparing for a large scale. Mm -hmm. right, so we are now getting into these kind of um, unfamiliar foods. Right, okay. So this here is the what we call the broadleaf thyme, but this mm -hmm. is the one that is white on the outer part of the leaf. Mm -hmm. I have the other one, which mm -hmm. is all green somewhere else, though. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a nice fish. Lovely fish on fish, it. right? Yeah. On fish. I love to use this on fish. It just makes a big difference. And again, I'm here in the garden sniffing. <laughs> and this is the marjoram. Marjoram. Yes. Right. I was telling them this morning that I used to go to the supermarket mm -hmm. and buy a little bag of... of um, it has a strong, nice... Flavor. Yeah. I don't buy... I, I just go to my garden. And um and and you know and and take from there. This is the this is the no wild the wild garlic again. I recently cut a bunch for for someone who put it in their vehicle. Tell me they had the whole vehicle smell so nice. Smell so nice. Uh, <laughs> so this is marjoram. So she has marjoram growing here, guys. Okay. Now this is you're coming up to my favorite, aren't you? I love to cook with this. Who can tell me? Don't tell. Don't say. You know, we always we want to, you to guess. Well, what is this? The sun is coming this way, so I need to go okay, here. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I need to go go here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is this? Does anybody know? What plant is this? It's a herb. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me what plant is this? Who knows? Delicious flavor. Delicious flavor. Ah, and it's strong and lovely. I put it in salad. Nobody can tell me what it is. It smells good. You know, I'm going to take a piece of sniff. Oh, woo! 
It's really nice. Yes, Maria. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, Beverly Prescott. Prescott, Maria, very fragrant. Yes, it is. Right? Somebody said chamomile. No, not chamomile. Shirley, but it smells good. It smells so good, Shirley. You know, in the people garden sniffing. But it, oh my gosh. It smells so good. And you can't guess it. <laughs> Listen, when, I, my hope is that when we finish here, ay, 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 I won't cook now. You can put it in soup. It's very fragrant. Yes, Maria. Very, very fragrant. Very, very fragrant. To the stews as well. So tell them they not they can't tell me what it is. Tana. Tarragon. Tarragon. That's tarragon. tarragon. Yes. Shirley, not chamomile. I learned it too. It's tarragon, and it's beautiful. It really, really is. Look at ah, the look at the bee. where the bee is. Ah, look at that bee there. Can you see it? The more organic the plant. Yes, the bees are going to come around. The around. And they pollinate other plants. So this is the green. Really rotted. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's the Jamaican coming. I did not curse. I said rotted. Okay. <laughs> So don't go away and say I curse. I say rotted because the bees was coming up. And we said, where they rotted the bees ago? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it comes out. It's not a curse word. <laughs> the bee started to come to me. The bee was like, why are you taking a picture of me? So what is this plant, um, Kathy? This is, green, this is the purple basil and this is the green basil. The green basil. So this is the green basil because remember earlier we showed you and this is really, really um, nice the, the purple. Fish. And this is nice really, in the fish too? Really, yes, nice. You gave me any of this chocolate. yesterday? Yes, yes, yes. I think I put it in the salad. That must be why my salad is so bitter. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that, it adds a nice flavor to your fish. Really, really nice. It's, it's, it's definitely far fish. Yeah, definitely for fish. Yes, oh, it's really, wow. really nice. I mean, you can put it other other meats and stuff. Yeah. But your fish, really, really it's nice. It's nice on and the And your fish cakes too. And fish cakes. fish cakes. Oh, yes. wow. Wow, yeah. wow. Were you hearing this? Um, question, do you re recover rainwater for gardens? Yes, I do. I was coming around to that. Yeah, we're going to do that last because we have yeah. to go that side, okay? So this we're going to answer that question, Tim. Guys, are you sharing up the live? Are you liking the live? I don't see a lot of likes on here where the likes are when you like it it goes up in the algorithm okay all right so this is um what is this so we're doing this again it's a quest q and a q and a for you all q and a for you all we in the sun here so you're gonna work too what is this what is this who knows what what plant this is this one this one let me move away from it a little bit so you can actually yeah and then let me go around the other side of it so that you can actually see the plant properly and um, can you see it properly what plant is this what plant is this those in Guyana should know it too yeah see that bee there that that come and, Cuba, and Cuba as well Jamaica, we use it too in Jamaica. Anybody knows what this is? Anybody knows? We're going to come back to it. I'm going to pick a little piece so I come back to it. Yeah? But I want you... Oh, this one's strong. Lord of mercy, it's strong. This is the cherry tomato. If somebody, Tim says it's a sister to the broadleaf thyme, but he doesn't know the name. So who knows the name? You're, you're close. So this is a cherry tomato here, yeah, isn't this is it? one of the cherry tomatoes. And there's another one that actually looks more cherryish in terms of shape. Mm -hmm. But this is also one. All of these things I add to my salad. You add them to the salad. Mm -hmm. so oregano? Mine. Somebody say or if it's oregano? Yes. Yes. Oh. Cuban, some people call it Cuban. Oregano. 
Shirley, move to the front of the class, Shirley girl, Shirley calendar, move to the front of the class. Uh, Kathy says that you're right. It's a Cuban oregano. Very good. It goes by another name, which is not coming to mind. Yeah, we, in Jamaica, we say it's a Jamaica tie. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I think that's the correct name, is the oregano plant. Uh, those of you who are just joining, just take, just, just look at these beds. Shirley, you see these beds? Lord have mercy. These beds are so pretty. I can't stop talking about the beauty of these beds and this is how I get my inspiration and I thought I wanted just to show you all what's going on in Kathy's garden. This is Kathy's garden. Yeah, and she is a, an amazing artist. That's how I see it because all these beds are so well manicured and um, you know, and so she's right here now. So she's at the another thing here okay so surely you got that one and i think tom tim got one right anybody know you all should know this one what is this go go ambris what is this man we got one right from canada charlie's in barbados let's get see if we get one right from guyana what is this what is this plant Anybody knows? Anybody knows? Time! Yes, Maria Ben! And the award goes to Maria Ben! Maria! Move! Maria! Move to the front of the class, Maria! It's time! And let me tell you, I have tried to, to um, plant time, and each time that I tried to plant the time, um, it dies! <laughs> It dies, it dies. What is this you're looking at, um, Kathy? This is a, a cherry tree that is supposedly originated in Suriname. So this is Surinamese cherry? Yes, and this is a young cherry here. Ooh, a young, one here. young one, you can't taste it. No, you, you're, gonna you know? you're not going to let it taste, even so. Yeah, but it's too young. Put it, hold it to the blossom. camera. Hold it to the camera. So this is Surinamese cherry. Okay, Surinamese cherry. And it goes red when it is really red when it is ripe. When it's ripe, it goes really, really red. And yeah. this, so this is the blossom here. Um, so this, she has um, Surinamese cherry, and this is the blossom. Okay, this is the blossom of the cherry. Okay, and this is just uh, the tree, um, the Surinamese cherry tree. That's what that is. Yes, you see it from afar. Yes, it's deep red when when ripe. Maria is telling us as well. Maria, have you ever tasted it? I've never had it before. I'm hoping Kathy keeps some for me. Okay, so tell me about. Um, so I know that this is a pineapple. I know that much. Come on. <laughs> still, still working on this one here. This, yes. This is what is this one? This is the strawberry. Oh, this is strawberry. Okay. Where, Tim? I just only have one or two little tiny ones. Tim. One Tim, this is a strawberry here, boy. This is a small breed of strawberry. Guys, this is a strawberry. Tim, when you're in Barbados, uh, Maria, you're telling me um, that it is very um, sweet when it's ripe. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna taste it and let you know. Um, now, guys, look this is this is beautiful this is strawberry being grown in barbados yeah you see we can we can we can we can cut our food bill you know if we all put the effort in we could cut the fruit bill. kathy is there a reason you put the strawberry um in the in the shade here um i think it, it like uh, some shade mm -hmm. Well, I tried to give it some, and then on top of that, um, it was the land space. <laughs> land space. But I try, I'm trying it somewhere else as well to see if where I plant it would impact how it bears. Okay, you think it might need, okay, to see yeah. how it, what it does. Okay. Anybody else planting strawberries where you live? Anybody else planting strawberries? Guys, this is wonderful. Um, you know, I am, I am on vacation, and... Yes, yes, Tim. I'm on vacation and this is what I'm using my vacation to do. I need to, I probably will visit a couple more, 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 um, gardens because I'm ex, I love this actually. I love this. 
So, oh, you got corn? Listen to me. I planted I the corn, and the corn grew up nice, you know. Come up sweet, and the monkeys were happy. Oh. I so like I it. don't know how to deal with that. I can tell you, later. I know net will help, but they might just pull down. Pull down the net, but I, I thought about the net as well because I love corn. This is my yam. Right, I'm showing them the okros because I'm passing the okros. Oh. Cuckoo. Cuckoo and uh, flying sauce. fish, eh? And okra sauce with yeah. all the beiges out there. Yeah, you, you do okra about. sauce? Cuckoo. They do that. Cuckoo and okra sauce. Cuckoo delicious. and okra sauce. When they say okra sauce, you know exactly what I mean. I'll, what the, let me go to the original name, okra slush. Okra slush. Okra slush. Delicious with salt fish. Delicious with your cuckoo. Delicious. Oh Lord, now we have to go home and cut, go in and cut some of them. <laughs> That's, so, so you see, she can come and she could go in her okra bed and she could pick her okras, right? She could pick her okras and, and go in and make her okra slush. This is one less thing that you have to buy at the market, right? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. So she's able to go right in her garden and pick her okra slush. I mean, pick her okra, so her okra slush. And then, right, and then when she's ready, look what I'm seeing over here. One of my favorite things in the world, yams. So, she'll soon be ready for, ready for, for, for harvesting. How long you have these now growing? Oh, Lord, this is, I think, February should be nine months. Nine months. Yeah, because I have it written out so that in case I mentally in my mind. So you write down. I write down when I have some planters so I will know harvest time. Right. Wow. Well, but Kathy, you have a long. lot of yams here. Oh. Somebody grass. Yes. Yams. Yes. So you have a lot of yams. A lot of yams. Yes. Yes. They really do better on stick. So I'm expecting some a lovely set of, of yams. yams and not only no yam but big yams big yams that is my expectation right so kathy's expecting more yams so look at this this, this is all the whole bed of yams this is fantastic isn't it huh um yesterday i'm sure the lady told me the beige of yam was about six dollars a pound yes, it was nice. sometimes the yam i buy i bought the yam and what i did um, I left back some and, and, and planted it. So this is this is this is a, a, a wide shot of this garden, and I just want you to take this in, guys. I want you to take this in, and I want this to inspire you. I, I'm doing this because I, whenever I come here, I am inspired. I really am, and I go home. Mine don't look nowhere near this, you know. But but I do what I'm able to do. And um, somebody's saying they don't think it's too many, too many uh, monkeys in St. Philip. What do you say about that? Well, I will say that. Maybe. <laughs> I do get an occasional visit from a monkey or two, but not very often. But I can't say the same thing about my neighbors. Yes. Which is just a couple yards away from me on either side. A monkey torments them. Yeah. Torments them. Right, so I, I would say I'm in a good position, but we, we we are having a bit of a monkey issue. But I guess mm -hmm. it's learning to manage manage it because you don't want to kill them, you know, everything, yes. you know, just because. So you have to manage them. So the, I guess maybe the government is trying to find a way to neuter them, I don't know. Yeah. But this is my, Ooh. this is my Buffet tree. Buffet. Buffet so did you remember I showed you my Buffet? Hey, Steve Moore, you're from UK, watching from UK. Steve, you remember I showed you the buffet in my garden? Let me step in. I don't want to step on your stuff. I'm very conscious of that. Well, I got my buffet tree from um, plant from from Kathy, right? Uh, as I tell you, boy in Jamaica, we say she a bring me, <laughs> right? She bringing me. She trying to she yeah yeah. So this is where I got it from. So hers is growing and mine is growing as well. And you know what I'm doing, Kathy, with the buffet? Um, I, I, I fry them too, you know. I fry oh, buffet. Of course, they oh. are so delicious. Right, when they're right, and you fry them there. Little, in my opinion, a little sweet in them planting. Yes. Fry, fry very nicely. You 
can cut them as well when they are close to right. You can uh -huh. cut them like green banana. Yeah, oh well, yeah, like with salt fish and, and so on. Yes, they're very delicious so they will have a slight sweetish taste. Yes. Nice. Nice, they're nice. And, uh, uh, even more green, like real green bananas, you cut them like that. I could do a red I never did cuckoo with them, but I cut them in my vegetables. Right, but stuff. you probably can do a banana cuckoo. Yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, nice, nice, nice. This is my planting. They're, they're still young because the mature ones were... Right, um, someone they're... wants to know if the buffet is, is um purple when they're ripe? There are two types of buffet. This is the green one, then there's a purple one. Okay, so it's a green one that you have. Yes. So these are not, um, Tim, these um, remain green. And when um, they're ripe, they turn yellow. When they're ripe, they turn yellow, but you don't but keep them on here to ripe because no. the monkeys... The monkeys will, will deal rape, with them. The process of raping it for buckets is a really fast one. Mm -hmm. So you have to utilize them quickly. They yes. don't last like planting. Planting stays a lot longer even though they're raped, but not buckets. Oh, that's why. So right. The last them. time I had mine, I had to eat them up fast because, yes. yeah, but I give to my neighbors and so on. I give them different, um, you know, thing. So that's lovely. Um, guys, are you being inspired? I hope you are, because in Barbados we we need to we need to make sure that we cut down the food. Bill. So this is her banana patch. You call it a banana patch? Yes. So this is her banana patch, and I ah oh this is now banana. This is now banana. So this is her banana here, and as I said to you, you saw my banana patch. And I owe her all the thanks and another neighbor of mine. Over there. Some, fig trees, but they Some don't have figs. Some figs? They don't have one any figs. Okay, you have figs. So in inside of here, I'm calling everything banana, but you have plantains, you have buffet okay. and you have figs and bananas. You have figs and bananas. And I think I have a fig too, don't I? Yes. I have figs as well. Yeah. Guys, listen. Ooh, look at this one. And look at what we're coming. Ooh, look at this, guys. Let us see on the other side. Yes. A more. Wow. This, here from seed, this woman from is seed. something else. And these one, these two groups, so I plant one over here and one on the other side. These ones they just drop from the seed. Wow, look at this, man. This is this is Papa. And she has another one here. She passed it and forget. This one is huge. Wait. You chop it down and it's still growing. Yeah. And it grew back. So this is another papa here. Ah. Oh, if you like the outdoors like me, you're gonna enjoy this video. I am I'm having a time of my life. Look at this. But she cut it and it's still growing. And but look at the trunk of this thing is huge. The trunk of this thing is huge and it is oh yeah, look at that, look at that. This is beautiful, guys. What is this here? I saw this earlier and I don't know. Is this bamboo? No, no. Yeah, what is this? This is, this is ginger. This is ginger, this tall? Yes. What? This is ginger. I've never seen a well. <laughs> Mine, mine is down in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, the, I, I haven't planted turmeric yet, but turmeric will look something like this. Yes, I have but, turmeric. Okay, so I have to do another bed or two of ginger. Yes, It'll yes. It'll be your pro, um, plant. Plant, um, yes, yes, yes. Excellent, Kathy. I'm going this. to plant. I have I have a lot of turmeric. I, I, I thought I had ginger, but I realized it's turmeric that I have. So now that I see this, I know for sure that it's turmeric. I only have turmeric because I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was bamboo. Oh. So this is ginger. Yes, Shirley and Shirley and Tim, cuts you are at the front of the class anyway. So this is ginger. This woman. So you have the ginger in the cold. Um, it can be in the sun too. It's just that this is just space that I'm trying to utilize. Not like okay. It's just being grass. Okay, got you. Got you. Because it was under the mango tree, mm -hmm. right over there. Yeah. So and and up. this is what what is it? I am not telling you all. You're I am not. The wrong thing. I'm not telling you all. I will. I might tell you the wrong thing. What is this, guys? And we're gonna. We just have a couple more minutes, and we're gonna close up. Anybody can tell me what plant this is, and what kind of food you get from it. Who can tell me? Who knows? They are magnificent. They are magnificent. What? Oh, it grows better in the shade. Tim is saying the ginger grows better in the shade. Well, hey, Edos, yes, Steve. It's Edos, right? Yes. It's Edos. 
It's Edda Dasheen. Somebody said Dasheen. It's family to the Dasheen, but it's not Dasheen. It's family to the Dasheen. Okay, Tim also, you, you're getting right to Tim. But it's really Edo's. But Dasheen is really another name from the other area. No, because the, the Edo's are smaller. Yeah, it's the Dasheen, like Dasheen is really big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this family. is, ah, yes, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Guys, like for me now. Like it, like it. I want, what I want to happen is that people catch the vision and are inspired. So she has a whole more set of Edos here. Listen, man, how you all like your Edos? I love mine in soup. You know, I like Edos with some saltfish too, you know. Oh, yes, of course. And I, I recently planted one called Pop Edos. Huh? Pop. I recently planted one called Pop Edos. Pop. That's how we call it, yes. Because you cook it in your skin. And you squeeze it out, it has a slick slime, and you could pickle that. So I am waiting to do I ate all the rest of it, sorry, I didn't get to the pickle stage. <laughs> these ones that I've got planted to do, I am hoping to pickle them. And you see that? She eats from the garden. Yes. And it's all pulp edos, yes, somebody knows it. And it's all organic here. Here, so she got the mangoes tree, mangoes. I get enough mangoes off of this, you know. Mango, and I get sour soft too. Yes, more she, mangoes. Oopsie. Yet to beer. Yet to beer. <laughs> wow, Cassie. Well, I want to thank you so much for this tour of this garden today. Right, and I was that so Yes, so all right, so we're gonna go towards where the water is. So this is your Oh, so we can't. Okay, but you're gonna tell me about it. So yeah. tell me about it now. Let's do it in front of here. Mm -hmm. Well, so, the, the water is, I use both the regular plate water and I use rain water. I have mm -hmm. a catchment, some, some drums that mm -hmm. I catch the water in. And in particular, because the plants love the rain water. Mm. And I'm saving money too when I capture the rain water. And I utilize that to wet the garden. And when that's gone, I go back to the regular water until the rain comes. So recently we've had quite a bit of rain, so it came in nice and handy and I had to use as much regular water, the pure mm -hmm. water as possible, as I normally would. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, yeah. saving money everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. for everywhere. saving money on the food and on the water. Yeah. Um, what do you want to say to those who are watching? You have people watching from Guyana, from Canada, from the UK, from Barbados. What, what do you want to what say I to people? What I say to you is to at least start planting. Trust me, start planting. The more organic you plant, the better, because it helps you fight against diseases and illnesses. So that if somebody said recently, um, you eat food like medicine, as opposed to eating medicine like food. Mm. So once you take care of yourself with good healthy food, you are in better health and better strength, and your resistance is higher to resist all the issues that are coming our way these days. Yes, okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, Kathy, thank you so much. You thank you. Uh, so this is this is my teacher here. Okay. Um, somebody said thanks for sharing your garden. They really enjoy it. Guys, welcome. we're going to ask you to share up this live and spread the inspiration. She's inspired me, and she can inspire people all over the world. So can you please do that? Thank you so much. And look for me tomorrow morning between seven and eight o'clock AST time. I'm going to show you. I'm going to be planting uh, my cassava that I got from Kathy. Uh, God bless you, Steve. See you tonight at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.